Hello everyone, this is Prasad. Welcome to Prasad VFX Studio. Today I am going to show you how to use Copycat node in Nuke. Copycat is a new to Nuke 13. In this tutorial, I am going to cover how to use the Copycat node to create a garbage mat. But remember that you can use Copycat for much more as well. Let's start. Take frame hole nodes according to your requirement. Then I am going to add a frame range node after the read node and set frame range 1 to 1. And now I am going to add an append clip node and add an input for each frame hole node. Once check the alpha channel for the footage you are using. If it is solid alpha, you can take one shuffle node straight after the read node. And choose the full black option for the alpha channel. So the next step is to create a mask for each of the chosen frames. For this I am going to use a roto node after each frame whole node. Once check our rotos and alpha channels. Now I am using shuffle node to shuffle the alpha into red channel. Then use a remove node to keep only red channel. Select keep and select RGBA then remove green, blue and alpha channel and I am adding another remove node to keep RGB Now we need to create a copycat node and connect ground root to the first remove node and input to the second remove node. Let's jump into copycat properties. 
here you can use the local GPU for rendering if it is available rather than the CPU this is turned on by the default because using GPU is much faster than the CPU the data directory is the path where the dot cap files and content sheets are written to so set that to your preferred location and coming to advanced settings individual weights none model size is medium batch size is auto and you can update batch size number by manual based on batch size total steps will change so once you are happy with the options that you have set you can start training and it will take some time to render now we can see how much load applying on CPU it is around 80% and here you can see CPU and GPU temperature also So the rendering is completed just now. Now you can check the CPU load. It's very low. So after completion of rendering, click on create interface and connect it to read one. Next take a copy note. Connect A to interface, B to read one and select RGBA red. Then add a pre-month node to see the map. To speed this up, you can write out straight after the interface node. Convert it to TIFF sequence. After rendering, add TIFF sequence output. Now disconnect alpha from interface and connect it to TIFF sequence. Now we can see such a beautiful result. Check in another frame also. If you get this type of disturbances, simply you can take a rotor node and remove them. This is our final result. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.